Hey guys, it's KJ for you, and welcome back to my Space Engineers Let's Play. This is Season 1, Episode 36, and they just dropped a new update on Thursday that has one thing that I am extremely interested in here. Right here, uh, Control Panel. Uh, this is really, really awesome. This will allow me to remotely open up my doors. Uh, I ask for it. And Space Engineers gives it to me. Uh, I absolutely love it. So the first thing we're going to need to do is make an antenna. So let's uh, let's find a space for the antenna on the ship. Or on the space station. Uh, I already have... I sh actually, I already have one on my, on my ship. I guess the best place to put it is on the roof. I feel really fast. It's kind of weird. Anyway. Uh, where do I want to put this bad boy? Oh, we could probably put the antenna right on the hangar. That might be pretty cool. The hangar is looking a little dull... Uh, so yeah, let's put it right on the hangar. Uh, now, I kind of want to put it on the in the middle, I guess. But I don't know exactly where the middle is right now. And honestly, I don't want to waste your time with me trying to figure it out. So I'm going to put it where I think the middle is. And if I don't like where it is, I will, uh, I'll replace it off camera. Alright, so I'm going to need that right there. Uh, yeah, that's a big antenna. Ooh, big antenna. Okay. And I am in create... Oh, I'm not in creative mode. Oh, okay. When I was on my... Basically, what I was doing was I was on another world, and I was playing in creative mode. And then I was like, I didn't think I had what I needed to put the antenna down, but apparently I do. And then I got confused because I thought I was still in creative mode on this world. But no, I'm not in creative world. This is completely legit. Anytime I go in creative world, I just do it on different worlds uh, to test things out to make sure they work so I don't have to waste your time. Okay, so we put it down. Let's come down here and grab the wasp, and let's, uh, let's craft that sucker up. This is going to be so cool. You guys are going to love it. I mean, a lot of you guys probably already know this, but uh, why am I all about here? It's kind of a far... Hmm. Okay. Well, let's just do this then. P. And we should be able to take off. There we go. Okay. So we're just going to fly out this way right now, even though we should have to fly out the door. The cool thing is, though, uh, we won't be having to open up that door while getting out, our sh out of our ship anymore. It's really funny. Like, someone... Someone left a message on one of my videos saying, Cage, you asked for an uh, automatic way to open your doors, and they have given it to you. It's kind of funny. And yeah, that, that happens a lot. But I don't make these videos as often as a lot of other people. So they do have more time, you know, in between my videos to actually uh, come up with these updates. So we got to go into this thing very carefully, or else we will break it. Okay. And... Uh, what? Um, okay, so what it probably needs is steel plates. Okay, so here's the deal. I don't have enough steel plates to do much anymore, but I do have steel plates to set this stuff up. Uh, I was going to mine this video, but I decided against it because I wanted to get this automatic thing going. So m number one priority is to get this automatic doorway opener thing going, uh, garage door opener, if you will. And uh, I'm going to get that done no matter what. And I do have enough to make that. Uh, when I said I was running low on iron, I meant I was running low on iron when it comes to the amount of iron that I'm going to need to make this this uh, entire thing. Alright, so that antenna is done. So next thing we need to do is we need to get out of our ship. And we need to put one of these control panels on our ship. Now when you put them on a ship, they're just a little button. So let's find a good spot for it. Uh, as good a spot as any. All right, we're gonna need steel plates for this, of course. <coughs> while we're um, while we're over here working, I'm probably gonna need some more steel plates. Let's quickly set up uh, some more steel plates to be made. I'm, per you know what? I might not be able to make any more, at all. Oh boy, whoa! This is this is gonna be tight. Do I have any more in here? No, I don't. I can always grind that other ship over there, but I really don't want to have to. I really don't want want to if I don't have to. Um, so let's see what we can do. We probably have enough. But it's going to be close. We'll take out 60. Okay. And then we'll put that button on. Actually, I should probably put the button on top. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see what it looks like right there. Actually, it would make sense being on top of the antenna since the antenna is what it really interacts with. So. All right. So we're going to need interior plates and computers. The funny thing is the only thing we're running low on is steel plates. We have a ton of everything else. So... What did I say? Steel plates and uh, interior plates and computers. Okay. So this is a little uh, button panel. 
And what you can do is you can use this to interact with stuff. I don't know why it's red. Uh, it might be red because it's not connected to anything else. I'm not really sure. Uh, we want the we want the uh, the antenna on the ship to interact with the antenna on the space station. The, now they're both green. That means they're not interacting. So what we have to do is we have to come into our ship, go into the control panel, find the antenna. Wait, wait, what? Am I missing it? Wait. Antenna. What? Okay, hold on a sec. Welder, spotlight, merge block, the wasp, button panel, gyroscopes. Oh, I prob. Oh, okay. I changed the name of the antenna. The antenna is not called the antenna anymore. It's called the wasp. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. All right. Uh, we'll just put the broadcast radius down to 500 meters. Uh, it should be plenty. And we are going. It takes less uh, fuel when you do that. And we are going to show the ship name. And this is what you have to do to get antennas to work. You have to go to the ownership, and you have to transfer the ownership to yourself. Okay. So now when I get out of here, the antenna should be blue. Okay. See right there? Small ship... Seven... Wait, what does that say? Small ship 707, the wasp. I'm not sure why it says all that. Uh, it's okay. We'll leave it there for now. Now we just have to come over and do the same thing to this one. I don't think I can interact with it from here. No. I'm going to have to go down here to the door, interact with that one. Then once I turn that one blue, they will interact with each other. By the way, I uh, I used up all my steel plates doing as much of this uh, front part of the hangar bay as I could after last video. So Next video is definitely going to be a, um, a mining video, no doubt. No doubt about that. Okay, so you're good. So let's uh, come over here. Let's look at the antenna. Uh, 10,000 meter range is just fine. Show ship name. Sure. Let's see what that does. Uh, put it on me, and there we go. All right. Small ship, six, small ship, 651 and 10. I'm not sure what some of that stuff means. I'm assuming it means that they're interacting or something, but I, I really don't know. Because uh, that, that one's definitely not a small ship. Okay. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to, we got to figure out a place for the control panel. I could put... Actually, I could put control panels in a few different places. So let's... Uh, wait, why am I going that way? There we go. Let's fly like this. It's easier. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to come on over here. Let's save in case we crash into something because I am flying uh, pretty recklessly at the moment. By the way, this is an awesome update. Uh, I'm so freaking psyched, man. It's so good. It's so good. Alright, now we have to find a place in here for the control panel. A place that makes sense. So let's uh, let's look around. Uh, control panel. You know what? This is gonna come out. Uh, I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put the control panel. I'm gonna put the control panel for the time being right here, but I will probably move it at some point. Um, I just want to get it down for the for the purposes of this video. And this is what the control panel looks like when you put it on a big ship. Whoops. All right, I'm terrible at this. Okay, I want it to go up. Okay, I want it to go page down. There we go. Okay. What do I need here? Construction components and interior plates. Construction components and interior plates. Uh, construction components and interior plates. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Um, actually, we don't have a ton of construction components. Actually, looking at my entire list of stuff I have, I don't have that much. So, yeah, we've got a lot of mining to do. I will show some of the mining. For those of you who maybe didn't watch this whole Let's Play, I do show some of the mining. But once it starts getting boring or anything, I will uh, definitely cut stuff out. So, Or do... Uh, time-lapse stuff okay so this is what we can do here this is the control panel it's got one two three and four it's got four buttons on it and a control panel in the middle so what you do is we're gonna come to the first button and we're gonna hit T right okay all right so that this is gonna show a list of everything that's on this that's on the space station or the ship or whatever's connected to this particular control panel all right you can do everything with the lights you can turn lights off you can open door I'm gonna do a lot with this stuff but for now um, I don't know why these are grayed out. I'm thinking they might be out of uh, range. I'm not really sure about that. I'll have to look that up. 
But uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to take a piston and we're going to drag it down. And we're going to ask it to do reverse. Then we're going to take the other piston and I think you could drag it in the right, the same spot and do reverse. Now I'm assuming both of those pistons are on the one spot. So when I hit T, those doors should open. No, only one. Can you only put one? Hmm, okay, hold on. I got an idea. We'll hit T again. That should reverse it again. And then we're going to hit K. Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, I thought I could bring two in, two in the same spot. But, hmm, that's interesting. It's at the top. Maybe I can drag it to the top. No. Ooh, can you only put... No, you could put more than one item in there. Piston 2, Piston 1. Alright, let me do some research, because i got to get both these pistons on the same button, or none of this matters. So let me do some quick research, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I didn't see at the top, basically at the top, this is the group, the hangar door. It's the only group I have on the space station, and that's why it's up there. So you take the hangar door and you drop it into 1, you put it on reverse, you hit T, and there goes the hangar doors. Beautiful. Absolutely love it. So let's uh, let's go ahead and close those for now. And that's what you could do with some buttons. You could do it with lights. You could do it with doors for the space station. Um, the only thing I wish you could do is when you place down a light, I wish you'd be able to walk up to it and see what the number of the light is because it's really hard to tell what lights are which unless there's something I don't know about. I mean, it, I might be missing something, but uh, yeah, that's kind of an issue. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to come on up here and we're going to get in our ship. I'm probably going to find a different spot for that button. because. Yeah. So anyway, if you click on the button now, um, this will show everything on the ship. So you can kind of use the button to activate stuff on the ship, which I'm not going to use right now, maybe in the future. But if you come on the ship and go into the control panel, uh, it'll show the ship. But if you look up here, it says Small Ship 707. There's a little drop down. Now you should be able to go to Small Ship 651, which I don't know why that says Small Ship. It's obviously a space station, so I'm not quite sure what the deal is with that, but it doesn't matter. I know what it is. So we're going to go to Small Ship 651, Hangar Door, Reverse, and there we go. Awesome. Absolutely love it. Just love it. It's so cool. As a matter of fact, auto save. You never know when you're going to crash into something. I crash into stuff all the time. So we're going to pull right back in here. And we're going to go into our control panel. I wonder if I could... Uh... It'd be nice if you could... Um... Take this hangar door thing and drop it down to a button. But maybe someday. Okay, so there you go. Uh, open and shut doors. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So... Let's see what else we can play with for this video. Um, I think I'm gonna play with some lights. Honestly, I didn't have anything else. I didn't have anything else planned for this video. So, and I still got another, you know, 12 minutes to fill. So let's uh, let's go play with some more of these control panels. Uh, I'm gonna go put one in my base somewhere. Let's see what we can find. This is me going off uh, off script. I usually have everything planned out. This is uh, you know, just me gonna see what we can see what we can do. It'll be cool. This game's got a lot of cool stuff to it, and oh, that's weird. This game's got a lot of cool stuff to it, man. Uh, it just keeps getting better and better. I just love it. So, alright, there we go. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go upstairs. This is where we're going to come out. This is how the, the thing's going to... This is how, like, there's going to be, like, a hallway here. I don't know if I mentioned this, and it's going to come out here. It's kind of a waste of time to run around, but I think it's going to look really cool when it's done. So, we'll see. Who knows? It might look like crap. You never know. You never can tell. Then we're going to run up here. I need to... I also need to fi finish this right here. This is... I, I nicknamed this the Space Bridge. And uh, it needs to be finished um, before I really do anything else. So, the Space Bridge and the Hangar need to be finished. The only reason I did this stuff is because uh, it's awesome. Alright, so we don't need... Well, we could put a control panel here. Mm, control panel here? I don't know where I would put it. Four. It's a good spot for a control panel. So what we're going to do with this control panel is... The thing is... Okay. I need to know what these lights are. Like, and you go up to them. It just says interior lights. It doesn't tell you what kind of light it is. Or which light it is. And that's kind of a problem. Because if I'm going to go in the control panel... 
Uh, if I'm gonna go into this, like, button number one, uh, and I want to put the lights in, I don't know what lights they are. I don't even know why these lights are grayed out. Like, why are these grayed out? It's kind of weird. So let's, uh, let's strike some... Oh, we need to make a group of lights before we do anything. So let's come over here. Let's go to lights. Interior lights. We got one incomplete, two incomplete... Ooh, a lot of incomplete. I guess the gray the grayed out ones are incomplete, so that makes sense. Now the last lights I put down are the lights in that space bridge. So let's take all those. I wonder how many there are. We'll just go with a hundred for now. Alright, space bridge. Okay. So let's take a look at that. It should be at the top. Space bridge, and... Oh wait, they're all off? Hmm. Why, why are they off? That's kind of weird. On, okay, off. And they're still all on. Now, I don't know where those lights were. Now, those lights were the, the lights with the most, um... Uh, the highest number. So I figured that I put those in last. Space bridge off. So that's all these, right? Yeah, interior lights. Those are the last lights I put in. But it says they're on. So let's see if we can find the lights that are off. Maybe it's maybe it was lights down here. Who knows? No. Yeah, well, these are on. These are all on. These are all on. Every light's on. I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look into this. Like I said, a lot of this is new to me. There's no lights in there. I don't get that. Those are those are the correct lights, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why they're they're still on. I didn't put any lights in the hangar yet. So that's kinda weird. Um, hold on a sec. Let's do this. Lights. Can you do can, yes we can, okay. Uh don't care about flight seat. Take that out. Uh interior lights, interior lights, interior lights. Okay, let's turn them all off. Off. Okay, now they're off. So, okay, so it, that does work. Um, so let's go to Space Bridge and turn them on. Those aren't on. Oh my god, look at all that. Oh, oh! Oh god, I didn't even notice this, guys! You guys probably already were typing in your comments. If you were, I apologize. Uh, I just noticed all of the lights are showing up with their little highlighted, and I can tell exactly which one they are. Awesome. This is interior light 106. Awesome. I know you guys were probably typing that to me in the comments. If you were, thank you. Uh, comments like those are what I really need. Uh, but, yeah, I just figured it out. Pretty sweet. Okay. So, all right. So, let's find one light that we know what it is. Okay, right here. Uh, why isn't that one showing up? Why isn't this one showing up? I wonder if it's only showing up the lights that are in the group. Yeah, it's only showing lights that are in the group. Because these aren't showing up. Okay, well, we're learning together. Okay, so the lights that are in the group are showing up. So, uh, let's take a look at one of the lights that are in the group. Is this one in the group? No, it's not. This one definitely is. Interior light 106. We're going to use that as a as a barometer. Ooh, I almost killed myself. Alright, we're going to use that as a barometer. Okay. Light 106. Uh, interior light 106. 106, right here. It says it's off. Okay. Turn it on. Alright, light 106 is on. So, wh what I was making a mistake was the, was the, um, was the way I was grouping them. So, uh, let's destroy the space bridge one. Uh, how do we get rid of this? Okay, space bridge is gone. Interior light. Interior light. Okay, so all of these are highlighted. Okay. Alright, interior light. Okay. Oh, show on HUD. There you go. Block group. Test. I'm just going to put test. Test. Okay. Now when I when I highlight test, it highlights all those lights. And it says show on HUD. You must activate antenna. You must 
have active antenna connected? Yes, okay, we do. Okay, but how do I turn them on? Why isn't it giving me the option to turn them on? What did I do wrong? Okay, let's get rid of this one. Interior light, interior light. Block group. Test. Just do two for now. Test. Okay, so we did the block group incorrectly. That's what we did wrong. Okay, so let's do that again. I'm not quite sure what I did wrong with it. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Test. Show on HUD. Yes. Test. There we go. Toggle block on. And we just turned on all... Well, the lights that were in the group. We're still missing some, like the lower ones. Alright, let's do that one more time. Uh, actually, yeah, let's just do it one more time. One sec. I want to get the proper lights here. Uh, test off. Beautiful. So there you go, guys. Um, and once I get the, the, the correct lights in the correct group, I can turn them off so they don't show up because this is a bit much. So... And for those of you who know this stuff backwards and forward, uh, this is a lot of this stuff is new to me. So, and I know I might be frustrating you with my noobness, but uh, you know, help me out when you can, and uh, you know, I'll, I'm gonna learn. So it'll get better. All right. Okay. So, can I add to groups? Probably make another group. You know what? Here, this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get rid of the test. And then we're going to go to interior lights. And then we're just going to just take everything. Interior light. Okay, everything's interior light. Yes. Okay. Uh, show on HUD. Yes. Lights. Save. Now all our lights should be showing up on the HUD. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, well let's see what we got here. Uh, <laughs> man, this is trippy <laughs> all right so we got 62 you know what i'll do this in between videos because this is gonna be a chore so uh yeah okay you see what i'm gonna do i do have a way to tell what lights are which basically what i'm gonna let's turn these off for now because this is like mm. okay so uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set up a control panel where all the lights are uh, i'll put a control panel right here so all i gotta do is click one button and all these lights go on Okay, this entire space bridge going down here all the way down over there is going to be on one light system And then I'll turn them on and then if I want to turn them off I can if I don't want to I don't have to I just I like to have the uh, ability to turn them on and also I'll put on those lights I'll put this door so this door will open when the lights are on Oh, man, it's so cool. I could put them on the same group and then I'll do the same with the lights inside I could do the same with doors. There's a lot of options here. I really love it. The automatic door is just phenomenal. This game is just getting better and better. And uh, I'm just loving it. I can't wait to do more videos. So, All right, guys. I'm going to call this one here. That is going to be it for episode 36. And I'll see you next time for episode 37. Till then, take it easy.